All right, welcome to my ticking time bombs. All right, so I filled them all up with water and check voltages. They were all within about 0.25 of each other. But I just got done with a two hour EQ charge at 32.4 volts. And the one I'm pointing at right here, you put your hand on top of that thing, it's quite, quite warm. Almost, almost like hot. Compared to the other ones, you know, same, you know, put your hand on top and feel them. They were all fine. You know, they were warm, but they weren't like really, really warm. But so this one, you know, with internal resistance, it's going to build up heat, i.e., you know, that's the way it works, right? So shorting out is what it comes down to. Also, these this string right here, this string of four, isn't taking as much current because I put my clamp meter on, you know, right here. This string over here was taking more current. This isn't. So what's that tell you? Well, you know, it's, it's just a matter of time before these things are really, really freaking dead. So, all right, guys, that's where I'm at. Well, chalk went up for being stupid. Uh, so I'm going to swap some batteries around. going to clean some posts and cable ends up, right? And found something really, really freaking stupid bad. Check this out. I can't make this up. Look at that arc over right there. That's... The, for the 4 watt battery cable right there that goes to the inverter. It got so hot that the adhesive heat shrink glue melted. That's how hot that got right there, right? And look at the arc over point right there. See that? Do you know, do you know why it was doing that? Because I only had this thing finger tight on here. You could actually move the cable. That's how freaking loose it was. So stupid on my part. God, glad I caught this before it blew up on me. So, I need to fix all that noise. All right, just finish up with this battery bank, and I'll tell you what I did. So, you got one string here, and you got one string here of four. So, I swapped these two guys around here and did the same over here. Also, cleaned up every single battery post end and lug end, and I'll go in here really close, and I'll show you what I did. Everything's topped off. I gave them a little bit of a shake, 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 and then uh, check each individual battery uh, voltage, you know, while everything was disconnected. Everything looked really good. I mean, nothing was below 6.35. So, you know, about 85, 90% uh, storage left in them. So, I really screwed up with that connector in there, but it's charging up right now. I got the inverter back online but just don't have a lot of sun to work with I'm sitting at about 28.2 so let's take a quick look at my work here and I'll show you just a quick gander a look-see look of what I did here also owned out all these cables too, make sure they were good so everything's all pretty nice and clean filled up yakety schmackety so you know I don't have the money to buy a new battery bank or you know, remortgage the house, so I'm going to milk these things for all they're worth. Thanks for watching, guys, and have a good one.